CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 5.4. Given a scenario, troubleshoot video, projector, and display issues. This video will cover troubleshooting issues related to displays. For each of the common symptoms listed in the CompTIA A plus Core 1 Exam Objective 5.4, I will provide some basic information and possible root causes. Additionally, as a protest taking tip, you should always perform verifications, inspections, or checks before performing any repairs or component replacements. Understanding the intricacies of display devices, including monitors and projectors, is crucial for effective troubleshooting given their pivotal role in various settings like classrooms, conference rooms, and various media systems. For our first display issue, we have an incorrect data source selection. While troubleshooting a projector or monitor, this can manifest as a lack of image or an error message like no input signal detected. This common issue often occurs when users inadvertently choose the wrong input source on the display device. However, resolving this issue is relatively straightforward by verifying and adjusting the input source settings to ensure the correct one is selected you can effectively remedy the situation. Damaged physical cabling can also disrupt various display setups, leading to image and audio signal distortion or even a complete lack of signal input. These disruptions often stem from loose or damaged cables, connectors, or adapters within the system. To effectively address these issues, Users need to carefully inspect all cables and connections for any signs of damage, such as frayed wires, bent pins, or worn-out connectors. A dim image is yet another display issue, where the display image appears significantly darker than desired. This symptom can arise due to various underlying causes. Firstly, an incorrect brightness setting on the source or display device may be at fault leading to decreased illumination levels. Additionally, in the case of a monitor, a failed backlight may be responsible for a dim screen. With many modern monitors, a backlight is used to illuminate the display panel, allowing the images to be visible. If the backlight fails or malfunctions, it can result in a dim or completely dark display. Furthermore, a malfunctioning inverter within the display may also contribute to the dimness of the screen. The inverter is a component responsible for supplying power to the backlight in older LCD displays. If the inverter fails or encounters an issue, it can result in an inadequate power supply to the backlight, leading to dimness or flickering in the displayed image on the screen. One method to determine if the inverter or backlight is malfunctioning is to shine a light directly onto the screen and observe for any faint images. If you see an image when shining a light onto the screen, it suggests that the backlight may be malfunctioning or not receiving power as the image is being displayed but not adequately illuminated. Next, we have display burn-in. Display burn-in refers to the phenomenon where persistent images or patterns become burned into the display screen over time, resulting in ghost images. This occurs when certain pixels on the display are subjected to prolonged exposure to static images, causing them to degrade at a faster rate compared to surrounding pixels. To avoid display burn-in, users can take several measures. One approach is to minimize the display of static images for extended periods. This can be achieved by using screensavers or power-saving features that automatically dim or turn off the display after a period of inactivity. Additionally, rotating content or using dynamic wallpapers can help prevent the prolonged exposure of specific pixels to static images. Moving forward, we have dead pixels. These are individual pixels on the display screen that fail to illuminate, resulting in small, black spots that remain dark, regardless of the display content. Dead pixels can occur due to physical damage to the display panel or prolonged use. To reduce the occurrence of dead pixels, users should handle their displays with care to prevent physical damage. This includes avoiding applying excessive pressure to the screen 
and keeping the display away from liquids. If you come across a display that rapidly switches between being visible and blank, you're dealing with a flashing screen. The primary causes of this issue typically involve either cable connections from the source device or electrical malfunctions, such as problems with the backlight or inverter. Poor or loose cable connections between the display and the source device can result in signal interruptions, causing the screen to flicker or flash intermittently. This can occur due to loose video cables as well as damaged connectors or adapters. Ensuring that all cables are securely connected and undamaged is essential to prevent signal disruptions and minimize the occurrence of a flashing screen. Electrical malfunctions within the display, such as issues with the backlight or inverter, can also contribute to a flashing screen. If either of these components happens to fail or malfunction, it can result in an irregular power supply to the display, leading to screen flickering or flashing. Do you have a display with distorted, washed out, or inaccurate colors? If so, you might want to check for a faulty cable. If cables such as HDMI or VGA suffer damage, it can result in signal degradation or an interference, leading to color distortion or imbalance on the screen. Users should regularly inspect cables for signs of wear, fraying, or damaged connector pins as addressing cable issues can effectively resolve color display problems. In addition to cable damage, misconfigured color settings on the display or source device can also lead to incorrect color display. Users should check color settings such as brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation to ensure they are correctly configured. Furthermore, displayed hardware issues, such as malfunctioning components, can also cause incorrect color display. This is especially common in LCD displays where specific areas on the display screen may become noticeably affected. When it comes to projectors, they tend to have some specific issues that users may encounter. One such issue would be intermittent shutdowns during operation. This unexpected powering off is often attributed to overheating. Overheating can be caused by the accumulation of dust and debris within the projector or a dirty air filter, hindering proper airflow and the effectiveness of cooling mechanisms. Regular maintenance, including cleaning the projector's air filter and ensuring adequate ventilation, is crucial to prevent shutdowns related to overheating. Additionally, users should inspect power connections and inspect internal components if shutdown issues persist after ruling out overheating. Another issue you might encounter with a projector is a burned out bulb. This issue is characterized by no image being projected. The projector bulb, like any other light source, deteriorates over time, leading to diminished brightness and eventually failure. To resolve this issue, users should replace the projector bulb following the manufacturer's guidelines. The image a projector produces may also appear fuzzy at times. This issue is characterized by the appearance of a blurry or less than sharp image. The fuzzy image may result from various factors, including an out of focus lens or improper resolution set. Firstly, users should check the focus of the projector lens to ensure it is properly adjusted for sharpness. Additionally, Verifying and adjusting the resolution settings on both the projector and the source device can help optimize image clarity. Lastly, we have audio issues. Since audio often accompanies video, now is a great time to cover this topic. Audio issues may include distorted audio or no sound at all. These issues can stem from various causes, such as incorrect audio settings, faulty cables, or speaker-related problems. To address these issues effectively, users should start by checking the audio settings, ensuring that the audio output is correctly configured and the correct output device selected can often resolve issues related to sound playback. Additionally, inspecting cables for signs of damage or wear is crucial, as faulty cables can cause signal loss, resulting in audio distortion or no sound output. If cables are found to be faulty, 
replacing them with new ones can restore proper audio transmission. Furthermore, users should troubleshoot speakers or audio output devices to identify any potential issues with the hardware itself. This may involve testing the speakers with other audio sources or connecting alternative output devices to determine if the problem lies with the speakers or the audio source. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.